Hi guys, I'm going to be showing you how to root your AT&T Galaxy Note 2. This is the I, I737, I believe that is the model number. So you're just going to put your phone down and go to the link in the description below. And it will take you to this site right here, which is XDA Developers, to how to root the AT&T i3, i7. My bad. So what you're going to want to do is download Keys Drivers which it will create a shortcut just go through the steps it's a .exe file so it's a program if you go through the steps it's just like next next install stuff like that now as soon as I finished like the installing and it opened there was an update available so it all in all it took about 10 minutes or so but I don't know how long it'll take depending on how you you know how fast your computer is and then you're going to need to download the Galaxy Note 2 root kit, which it will be a zip file. What you're going to want to do is right click and extract that. Once you do that, you will get this folder right here. And once you get this folder right here, just going to want to open it up. And you will need to copy this Clockwork Mod Super SU over to your phone. So if you have a micro SD to regular SD, something like this that you can plug into your phone and you can copy over the zip to an external SD card make sure you go ahead and do that or connect your phone now and copy that zip over to your phone storage but once you copy that over to your phone I, I copied it over to my SD card but the video kind of messed up before you know, so I started again but once you do that you're gonna wanna open up the Odin folder and you're gonna wanna click yes and you should see this screen right here now what we're gonna wanna do is go to our phone get it to focus a little bit better alright and once we are on our phone we are gonna press and hold the power button we are gonna power off wait for this to power off completely Alright, now we are going to press and hold volume down, home button, and the power button. Sorry for being so bright. And we are going to get into download mode. So you hit volume up to continue or volume down to cancel and restart. We are going to hit volume up. And you are going to take your USB cable, preferably the one that came with your phone. And we are going to plug it in. And if the drivers and everything have installed correctly, you will see a COM and then a number on the Odin. So what we're going to do is click PDA. And I have the folder on my desktop. You are going to want to find the folder that you extracted the um, that you extracted the root.zip from. And it's going to be the Clockwork Mod 6 Recovery. It's going to be the .tar MD5 that is inside that. We are going to click Open. And it's going to be in the PDA. Make sure Auto Reboot is checked. And we are going to hit Start. So it says Please Wait, Checking MD5. And it has completed. So the phone should be rebooting as of right now. And so we're we're done with that. So we can actually unplug our phone. And we can I'll actually leave hold it up in the background, but Okay, and now once we boot up into our phone, we can actually just power off our device because we don't want it on. So power off. Now we are going to want to boot into Clockwork Mod. Sorry, I tried to focus this at the wrong time. Alright, now that our phone is completely off, we are going to press and hold Volume Up, Home button, and the Power button. Now once you see the Samsung Galaxy S2 logo, let go of the Power button when you see that. 
So let go of the power button when you see that. I'm not holding the power button, but the phone is kind of big to. And just keep holding volume up in the home button. And we should boot up into Clockwork Mod Recovery. So I'm still holding volume up in home button. You see something up there just flashed. And here we go. We are in Clockwork Mod Recovery. Get a better picture on this. And can I use the volume keys? Yes. We are going to want to go to install zip from SD card. Use the power button to choose. Choose zip from SD card. And we are going to want to go to our downloads. Wait a minute. Go back. Choose it from external SD card if you put it on your, well, external SD card. <laughs> I got kind of mis mixed up right there. And get off for a minute. Clockwork Mod Super SU 0.97.zip. We are going to click yes. It'll only take not even two seconds. We are going to go back and we are going to reboot the system now. So we have Clockwork Mod Touch, well not, I mean we have Clockwork Mod Recovery, sorry, not Touch. And we now have Super SU. So our phone should now be fully rooted, which is a joys of having an Android device. <laughs> sorry about that. Wish I had something that... Sorry, that being so bright was bothering me, so. Waiting for this to power up now. Shouldn't take too long. Samsung logo. Now, I'm just going to download a root checker app just to make sure that our phone is fully rooted. Alright, so. Unlock. It's repairing the SD card. Um go to the Play Store. Now you can use any root checker app that you want but root checker. I'm gonna use the one by Joey Krim. So I'm gonna hit install and accept. Keep shopping I guess. I uh, what I don't even know I just got some Chinese thing. And we are gonna want to open this and click agree click OK and we're gonna verify we have root and yes we do so we just granted it super user permission so we have full root access alright guys so this is how you root your AT&T Galaxy Note 2 you should also see super SU in your app drawer right here if it asks you to update the binary click continue and I already follow him on Twitter and Google Plus. And that is how you root your AT&T Galaxy Note 2.